Hey guys, it's Blind Dollar Girl and welcome back to another Review by Touch video. Just a quick reminder, the following video is made for adult doll enthusiasts and collectors only, and this means that unfortunately, if you are under the age of 13, the following video is not suitable for you and I request that you come back and join me for another video at a later date. Now with that out of the way, we have so much to cover today, you guys. Oh my gosh, just so much in the tactile world of dolls and Barbie and just items. <laughs> so, um, I've been doing a lot of shopping on eBay lately, like probably way too much. And I recently discovered the glorious that is uh, vintage Barbie. Well, vintage Barbie items, rather. As many of you may or may not know by watching and or listening to my previous uh, videos, I have mostly been collecting and getting into modern Barbie um, over the last year since I was able to start playing with her at the age of 27 and she actually started helping my cerebral palsy. Um, but recently I discovered uh, vintage-ish Barbie. And I say vintage-ish because today in particular, we are talking about the years 2005, 1997, and 1987. I know, right? Lots and lots of like different eras. It's crazy. Um, anyways, so what I have here, this is the first vintage item I purchased. This is the Barbie 2005 Totally Real House. Um, it did not come with any accessories really. It did come with quite a bit of food and like little things, but it didn't come with like the bed, the TV, table, any of that stuff. Um, I do know what pieces to search for to try to find those. Thanks to another YouTube reviewer, shout out to Jeffrey Tucker Steinman for his review of this dollhouse with amazing verbal descriptions of all the furniture. So thank you, Jeffrey, because otherwise I'd be totally lost in trying to know what exactly I needed for this house. <laughs> but I do have some makeshift things in the meantime. Now, um, this house is really tactile. I'm going to actually put the house down so I can go over it with my hand better and tell you um, what I feel by touch over the house. So we're gonna put the house down. Careful, 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 careful. Okay. So this house is so incredibly textured. I just love it. So at the top here, we have what feels to be like the roof. At the very top, it looks like a triangle. And then we have uh, some extra little details kind of over by the handle. Um, we have the window, which you can actually put your fingers through. We do have underneath the window, this is all on the left side of the house, by the way, we have a nice little flower box. Now this house did come with some fake flowers, but I actually threw them out. I know, I know. I threw them out though, because I just kept dropping them and losing them. And I knew within time, if I didn't lose them myself, my vacuum was gonna probably clean them up. So that's okay. I just imagined that there's flowers in this little flower pot down here. Um, and then to the right of the of on the house, we have um, some like brick detailing at the top. And we have a front door that feels really nice with a mail slot. I do want to get some vintage mail so I can put that in the mail slot because I like doing that. And then to the left, we have this bricky feeling thing. That is actually how you open the house. Uh, that's to the left of the door, in between the uh, door and the um, window at the bottom. And then on the right, we have, uh, on the very right of the house, we have the button for the doorbell. Because guess what, you guys? This house does make sounds. So, um, real quick, I'm going to put it up one more time, just so you guys can hopefully get a pretty good angle of the house, maybe. I am using my phone today and not my uh, not my DJI pocket camera. Let's so put the house down. Okay. Now the way you actually open this house is you have to take uh, this thing, this this brick thing, and you have to pull it to the side. Wow, I actually did that. I was 
Usually I have to use two hands to open that and I managed it with one hand. That's, that's impressive for me, you guys. So um, then we just take the left side and we flip it out and we flip the right side out. And now, as you can tell, the house is like out and flat, which is really cool. And now we're gonna lift the house up. Okay, so the house is now all open. So in the middle, we have two doors. We have the bathroom uh, doors, which you can actually move to kind of make an angle if you want. That's pretty nice. And that is what we're gonna do. There's one door, let's see. There's the other door. Okay, so this is like in the middle of the house. So now uh, we're gonna go left, uh, right to left, excuse me, and I'm gonna tell you all of the detail. So um, on the left of the house, like I said, you have this front door uh, entry which is nice and you can actually turn it on the very right. You can turn um, this little like square part so you can make it at any angle you want, which I really like that. And coming in from the house to the very the right to the left of that, you have a washer and dryer with some pots and pans hanging above it. And you can open the washer and dryer doors, both of them. The, I'm guessing the dryer's on the top and the washer's on the bottom, I don't know. Um, at least that's how, that's how my old washer and dryer used to be. <laughs> um, and then, uh, at the very top of the washer and dryer, we have what, what feels to be like a box of detergent. It is square and it has little indents on it. It's very nice. And when you press it, it spins. Now moving over to the left of the washer and dryer, we have a very, very, very small kitchenette with four tactile burners. One, two, three, four. Like you would have on a traditional stove. Sorry, I'm moving the camera. I'm trying to aim as best as possible. Um, I'm having a pretty bad cerebral palsy day, you guys. So I'm in a lot of pain right now. Um, so if, my camera is particularly wobbly. That's why it's my, my hands and legs are acting up today. Um, and then we have right to the left of, uh, to the right of the stove, we have a really small, small, small little like sink. And it's funny because it actually feels like, you know how on a regular sink, it's like, if it's a double sink, it's like one's on the left, one's on the right. Well, this feels opposite. like. One's on the bottom and one's on the top. So definitely weird. Underneath that, we have the oven with uh, some tactile knobs for the oven slash stove. And you can open it, you can open the oven. And we have some cool little stuff in here. We have a turkey that is rubber on the top and very tactile. I mean, you guys, you can feel everything about this turkey. It's is pretty awesome. It's kind of sticky though. I wonder if I can wash it off with anything if water would damage it. Um, it comes on like a silver plate and it can, you can feel like some edges of it. It's very, it's very interesting. And also in the oven, we have this really nice little pie that you can actually feel that it is inside a, t a pie tin. Um, it has like a the pie tin uh, feeling on the bottom with like some uh, little rigidy details along the uh, top right before the pie starts. Now, the one thing I wanted to point out about this pie that I find very fascinating is that if you take your fingernail and you feel a along the pie, uh, and you have to do this very, very delicately because otherwise, like you have to have a very light touch, but you can feel the little indentations to, uh, they, they tried to make it look like there were little individual slices of pie there. And they did that with tactile indentations versus 
This is a pan of, oops, <laughs> of, um, I don't know, I guess maybe cupcakes or cookies or I don't actually know what it is. And I don't know what it is because it's a picture. It's just a sticker. That's it. <laughs> there are two little uh, edges on it on of either side for handles. And on the back, there are these little cuppy things uh, for it to stick into something. And that came from my 2018 dream house. Now, the reason I'm doing this comparison is because um, honestly speaking, as I have stated many times on this channel, and I will continue, is that, you know, tactile representation, it's very important. It's very important. Um, and, you know, like I said, this little pie, I can just, I can tell that, that there's little sections of pieces of pie. It's so cool. I would really love to see Mattel bring this kind of tactile detail back to the Barbie toys. Um, this, this, I didn't even know this, this was ever a thing back in the day. Um, and I, I, I guess it was, it's, it's just, it's incredible. So I would really love to see more detail like this, especially in the food, come back to, uh, the toys. Anyways, moving on. So we're going to put the turkey and the pie back in the oven. We'll close the oven. And then right above the oven, we have the switch. Again, you gotta use your nail. There you go. So you, you heard that. Doo -doo. That's the doorbell. And if you go onto the side of the front door and you press the button, you get the doorbell sound. So that's the very first sound that comes in this house. Moving on, we have the fridge. And on top of the fridge, this house did come with a phone, huh, huh, hashtag 2005 y'all. Um, the phone again is very tactile. You can take your nail and you can kind of feel the buttons. You can feel the little um, antenna up at the top. And it's just a very nice phone. It didn't come with a base for the phone. So I just set it up on top of the fridge all the time. And then of course we have the fridge. Now if we open the fridge carefully, uh, well, we'll just go over what first fell out. We have a bottle of milk and you can tell it's a bottle of milk because it has that top piece and it feels like a, not a bottle of milk, a carton of milk. There you go. It feels like a carton of milk. Um, no clicky things in the bottom because again, this toy is from 2005. So put that there. We, oh wait, I'm putting it on the stove, my bad. Put it in the fridge, there we go. We have some eggs, excuse me, we have some eggs, which I think this is a dozen. I would normally count, but my hand is really hurting, so I'm not gonna count right now. Uh, but again, no, no knob things on the bottom. It just easily sits in the fridge very, very nicely, which I appreciate. And then, and the, uh, that's the middle of the fridge. At the very top, we have some boxes that I don't know what they are. Maybe some cereal. I think I, I, think I was given quite a bit of cereal. <laughs> uh, and then at the very bottom fridge, we have one little teeny tiny cup. Now this cup is not from the set. This cup came from my 2002 Barbie Talking Townhouse that I no longer have, but I just happen to have a spare cup. And because I don't have any of the original dishes, like plates, cups, that kind of stuff for this house, I just added this in for now. So then we can just close up the fridge. Maybe. Thank you. Now moving on to the left of the house, we have, uh, moving on into the middle, I'm sorry, we have the bathroom. So the bathroom is really cool because you can move the part on the right, which holds the sink the mirror and the shower curtain. So you can move it and place it basically right up against the kitchen area, which is how I generally have it just because that's the easiest way for my scenes and or play. And uh, so on the right side, we have a standalone sink with no drawers underneath it. It's just a straight square sink. And we have a 
uh, shower curtain that you can move, which I just did. You can move it to the right, or to the left, I'm sorry. And that exposes the mirror. That is a circle mirror that again can be felt. Uh, no picture, no, no like sticker, a detail, nothing like that. It's all tactile. And then if we move that back over the sink, Oh, and also on the sink, I'm sorry, one, one more thing. On the sink, there is a faucet as well, detail with uh, tactile knobs. And uh, anyway, so if we move over past the sink, we have in the left, uh, in the middle of the bathroom, we have a shower section, which um, actually has like a little step area for the shower. So Barbie can go in the shower. Uh, on the shower, we have uh, a, on the shower floor, because there's nowhere else to put it, we have a shampoo bottle. This shampoo bottle is a modern shampoo bottle. It came from my Barbie grocery play set that was released in, I'm actually not sure, I want to say 2020, but I'm not 100% sure. So I just put that in there for now, because again, I don't have any original shampoo or anything for this house. Above the, ins above the little platform for the shower we have um we have a shower head that is on a rubber cord i'm guessing it's kind of like a removable shower head that's at least what i always pretend it is um which also fun fact because of my cerebral palsy i do require removable shower heads because in my in real life because it is hard for me to hold my arms above my head for long so the fact that this house comes with a removable shower head i find very relatable directly to the right of the shower head we have a little soap dish container thing which doesn't have the soap on it where the soap go oh no i think i lost the soap you guys that was one of my favorite parts ugh oh well uh, oh, nope, here it is. I found it. Okay, hang on. So it comes with a little soap dish, a little a little thing of soap, uh, which has a little indentation on it on either side. At least I'm 95% certain this is soap. I hope so. So we can just put that in the little shower dish holder. And moving on to the left, we have the toilet, uh, above the toilet, there is this ring thingy that you can flip. I don't know what that is, but then we have the toilet here that you can actually flip up the lid. One thing about this toilet is that it actually has two lids. It has the regular toilet lid, and then it has a smaller lid above that, which you can flip up to pretend like she's cleaning the toilet or whatever. Now, um, okay, so three more things for the bathroom. So the toilet has a button on it. If you press it, what a realistic toilet sound. And one more thing I forgot to show you, I uh, forgot to talk about is that on the shower, there is this nozzle here. And if you press the nozzle, obviously makes the shower sound. Now, I actually kind of think it also sounds like rain, which is kind of cool. So if we move, continue moving on to the left from the toilet, we have, this took me forever and a day to find with my hands, and apparently it is again, aha. At the very bottom, we have a little roll of toilet paper. Ah! And you can actually move it up and down. Now what's cool about this is there is a part of the toilet paper actually tactilely feels like it's going out, which means that that's where the roll is, like you can break it off from that point, which obviously you really can't because it's plastic, but you know, your dolls can. And um, it's on top. It's a, it's an over toilet paper, not under, which is how I put it in my own house. So that's kind of cool. Like all these details, like this is what I do in my own house. So it's awesome. And then moving on to the left of the toilet paper, we have a door to the bathroom so you can actually like get into the bathroom. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to open this one-handed. Oh, yep, I kinda can, okay. 
So you have a door that opens. So you can go into the bathroom to the door. So that's all really nice. And now moving on to the very left far side of the house. So this is the living room area. This very last section is the quote unquote living room area. Now, um, I don't have, like I said, any furniture for this house in terms of like actual like furniture that came with it. But it is a pretty open area. It's very nice. It's, uh, it's kind of small-ish, but what's nice about this house is because it is a little one-story house, you can use the base of this to put whatever you want, but then you can also just use the entire open area of whatever floor space you have available to you. So in the living room, the cool two parts is that there is actually a curtain and you can in fact move the curtain upside, uh, apart. So there's a curtain on the left and a curtain on the right and you can separate them to get to the window and the window does open and close. Now, I don't know if this house originally, if the windows clicked shut or not on this particular house that I have here, it does not. So we're just gonna move the curtains from side to side like that. But uh, that is the 2005 Barbie Totally Real House. And I will be right back because I'm going to dig in my toy box for the next thing that we're gonna go over and add to this house. Okay, so I picked up out of my toy box these, um, since we are going over vintage Barbie products today and vintage dolls, I picked up my Little Mermaid Ariel doll from 1997 that a really good friend of mine got me for my birthday last year. So Ariel has really long, bushy hair. I know her hair is red because growing up, I did have some vision. So I have seen the Little Mermaid um, with eyesight before. So I do remember that. I don't know what color her eyes are, and I don't know anything about her face in terms of like lip color or anything like that. She has a very basic standard doll type body, and her arms are plastic and her legs are rubber because she is from 1997. Since she is from 1997, I believe that is back when Disney and Mattel actually were doing um, their partnership, collaboration, whatever you want to call it. So I really love the quality of her. She's just, oh my gosh, she's perfect. Um, I've gotten Disney dolls from Hasbro recently, and I'm really not a huge fan of them, to be honest with you. I like this quality much better. So the next and final thing I have to show you, go over, is this Barbie Sweet Rose Sofa set from 1987. Whew, I know, right? Uh, this set um, did come with a chair, but I will not be going over the chair today. It also came with um, cushions, like um, throw cushions and padding, but I have decided not to keep those. Um, I am giving them to a really good friend of mine because she can use them. And I personally don't like fabric for my Barbie furniture. Um, I like blankets and I like sleeping bags, but when it comes to furniture on like chairs and things like that, I'm really not a huge fan. I just, I like plastic detail better. So this couch is really cool. It's really big, you guys. Oh my gosh. Like when I took it out of the box, when I got it from eBay, I was like, whoa, this is huge. So we'll sit Ariel here on the couch so she can look like a princess because that's what she is, of course. And uh, oh, fun fact, you guys, Ariel is not, of course, wearing her original outfit. She actually has on a spaghetti strapped purple ruffle dress, which you can feel the ruffles on it. This dress was from a Barbie fashion pack that I recently picked up. And I know that it is purple because the description on Walmart said so. So she's just chilling, but now she wants to go to sleep. And this house does not come with a bed. I mean, what studio apartment doesn't come with a bed? Well, that's okay. Cause while it doesn't come with a bed, it comes with a futon. 
So with this couch from 1987, you can lift up and pull out and boom, it's a bed. And I haven't actually tried this yet, but I'm guesstimating based on the size, if I cram them in there, I probably can get at least three to four Barbies on the bed. We'll just lay Ariel on there. And hopefully I'm aiming this okay, but uh, there she is laying on the bed. We'll actually move this closer into the living room section. Maybe. Hang on, I'm trying to feel for it. Okay, there we go. And there Ariel is chilling in the living room of the Barbie Totally Real House from 2005. <laughs> oh man, you guys, this, I'm just, I'm loving this. I still need to get a kitchen table for this house. And like I've said, plates, cups, that kind of stuff. Um, if I could find the original table, it'd be really great because I do know, once again, thanks to Jeffrey, that it is purple and I like purple. But uh, if I can't, I'm kind of looking around for a table from maybe the 90s. That'd be nice to have. Um, as well as some like plates and, and cups from the 90s or early 2000s if I can't manage to get, you know, the rest of the original. But um, yeah, so that's that's my hunt right now. <laughs> Anyways, as always guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching and listening to this video of the Barbie 2000 Totally Real House Review by Touch, as well as added accessories like Sweet Rose Sofa Bed from 1987 and Little Mermaid Ariel Disney Doll from 1997. If you have been enjoying my videos, please do remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell button so you'll never miss tactile fun with Blind Dolly Girl. Thanks guys, and until next time, bye!